So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can basically cheese Rikard, the boss within the Volcano Manor. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Rikard within the Volcano Manor isn't the easiest boss in the game whatsoever. I myself, being a high level with a decent builder as well, I'm still, well, I was still semi struggling to just even lay down that damage consistently on him. Now, I know this will be a problem for many other people too. After having a look online as well, I have seen a few complaints about this dude. More so, the point that he has two phases also. So, me going into this fight. To be honest, I was optimistic, but I just got my ass handed to me a couple of times and I was like, Jesus, this dude's a monster. Then I realized, guys, that actually the cheese is right there for you as soon as you enter this fight. As soon as you enter this fight, guys, on the left hand side, there will be a weapon for you to grab called the Serpent Hunter. Now, this weapon, although it seems as though it isn't that great against this boss, guys, it does damage extreme damage more damage than anything i could do with my leveled up weapons don't believe me try it out for yourselves what i did was and what works incredibly and i will admit i didn't do it on my first try doing it this method i was just trying to get it down but i got damn near close much closer than i did with any other weapon or sorcery that i've been using prior to this all you need to do guys is equip the weapon go up to rykard stand underneath him and keep jabbing him now the weapon's special attack does some serious damage if you press it twice like a combo with that left trigger the second attack does some serious damage the problem is you will be here standing in fire which does do minor damage every few seconds so unless you turn this right you won't actually get to pull off the attack because the fire damage will actually just stop you doing that attack but if you do manage to lay it down you will do some serious damage now you could always fly to the round table level up this weapon a little bit more if you are struggling with it i would recommend that but it is guys as simple as like i said having many health potions at hand i'd probably say four will be the maximum you will need i mean the fire does damage to you but it doesn't do anything serious to you it's his attacks you want to try and judge and just roll out of the way of them if you can get this down unlike how i failed a couple of times in this video you will do this boss no problem whatsoever what I would say is use a decent summon. I'd probably say something that can tank a bit of damage. Pumpkin head's good for that. The wolves for me are quite good because there's just three of them so they can tank more damage. But anything that can just get the aggro from the boss while you stand underneath it just meleeing away with this, uh, this spear or the serpent hunter. Because like I said the weapon although it doesn't seem that great using it on this boss it's like perfect for it. Now the second phase to this boss will be a little bit harder but the strat's the same just go underneath him guys and then just melee upwards it is as simple as that if you can pull off that left trigger attack two times in a row like i said you will do some serious damage you will have a few more fire attacks within the second phase you will have to do a few more rolling and countering but if you can get it down guys i did it on my second try i'm sure you'll be able to do it probably on your first try using this strat 100 so yes guys if you are having trouble with a volcano mana boss try this out it worked an absolute treat for me it's like it's just meant to be the weapons there for you to pick up you could guys use another weapon go underneath him if you can attack fast it could use that too i personally had none of them on me none of them leveled none of them as powerful as this as it is standard so i went with a serpent hunter but hey the strat could work with any weapon as long as you can lay down consistent damage the cheese is is literally going underneath him like i said you will take minor damage from the fire but as long as you have those health flasks you should be fine in second phase you'll probably take a little bit more damage if he stamps on you but you can easily roll out the way this like i said unlike me in the video though but they are avoidable so yes guys if you are having trouble with a right card volcano or mana boss try this out and i hope it works for you on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.